Hi, it's Jess again. So I have a bit of a different video today. I have some footage which was taken by Tom Rose and Group Rose. Uh, I'll link their channel in the description. Uh, from the regional that those happened last week that I won. Um, so the, fe the feature match is from round four. It's a plant mirror match between me and Tom Rose, so two members of Plant Gang. And yeah, I think it's a good match to put some commentary over and just kind of get a good insight into Plant. So enjoy. Okay, so starting off here, we have Dash Roll. I was the Dash Roll here. Um, yeah, so Tom chooses to start and he opens pretty much full combo. I don't have any formal hand traps. So my hand here, I believe, is. Um, I at least have double tactics and evenly match. So my aim here is to bait out his Regulus with whatever Edward is able to go on because he goes for the die here. My aim here is to, for whatever he ends on, I'd like to bait out the Regulus, hopefully with sewing, because sewing is a pretty good bait for Regulus since if it's really good Regulus, it's for effect. I can't activate a second one. Uh, so here we can see Tom's going to do the full variation of Rika plus plant almost. Sorry, Loki plus Rika almost. Um, unfortunately, the image quality, the stream quality at parts isn't great. Uh, unfortunately, this was an old like club venue, so the signal wasn't great at all points in time. Uh, but yeah, like right now, it's not ideal. But for now, what you can notice now is he's got Jasmine on board uh, with a Loki and Twin. He's going for Dryas. He's going to summon a healer here, and he's going to attempt to search. I believe he searches out a Lily Warrior here, which lets me know that he likely, like, he's just going for the standard full combo, and he's going to end on at least one negate for the evenly matched, so I have to, I have, I'm going to have to base it out. So here, I'm, my mindset is, if I can get this evenly to resolve without using my tactics, because if I, if I can use one tactics and I can force out his Hyperaton with the Spell Negate, I can then potentially evenly him. And if he keeps Strenna, which you shouldn't do in a Plant Mirror, but I don't know how many Plant Mirrors he's played, I take the Strenna and then I can add back plant resources and hopefully full combo in return. Yeah, you can see he's doing the line where he's got a Jasmine pet and Lone Fire Petal underneath. Um, because anyway, it's there is pretty bad glare, but this does clear up a bit later. It is what it is, though, unfortunately. Uh, so I try and bluff a little bit. That's a different list, but I think he's 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 thinking because he has the impan. Um, and yeah. So unfortunately, these these feature patches are a little bit laggy. Um, but that was just because this was live streamed at the time, and yeah, as I said, the signal wasn't too great. So he had Snowdrop here, uh, which kind of indicates to me that he already has the Mudan, because otherwise you'd automatically just add the Mudan. Uh, here Tom's actually trying to conserve resources, and he's not going for the regular full combo here. Um, so in a plant mirror match, you can be very back and forth, uh, or just like in combat match, mirror matches in general. That, and he knows that I'm on board breakers such as Evenly. So what he's attempting to do here is he's attempting to go through his full, or get to his full end board without using the second Jasmine. Because if he doesn't use the second Jasmine, he'll be able to always have that follow-up. And get another Lily Boria, or just outgrind me in a follow-up. You can also see there's a Tactics in his hand. A Tactics and a Loki at least, with an Imperm. So it means he should, regardless. Regardless of what else is in ha like I have, he should always have follow-up. That seems to be his aim here, so it was like a pretty strong world with follow-up. He's choosing here to search two, it's like search out the level fours. Yep, that's Princess Primula. Um, unfortunately, it's again not too clear because front <laughs> that column seems to be a pretty bad red glare, but. I think for this um, for this tournament, so I ended up first place and Tom actually ended up second place, so it was a plant one two at the end of this. 
uh, he's going to be using the Princess here to special summon itself. And they'll be going for Mudan, target the Princess, making everything level 4. Yep, he's making the turn here. Because he sorted with die, he's going to be attaching Lone Fire, adding back Lone Fire. This means that he can, can, he can reserve another res resource. He can also Lone Fire treating off the Strena, which then means he just gets another free resource. Um, it just gives him even more in the grind game. It's especially important to end on two Princess Engrave, which he sort of summoned a second here, uh, in this matchup, because in a mirror match, the first Princess is going to be used as your generic interrupt, but you will have a second, so that when you summon back Petal end phase, there's no, like, and Teardrop's already been used, they can't just go standby phase to be Teardrop for free, because you potentially have Concon to just to remove. Yep. It's getting a little bit laggy here, but he's then just going to go Link from Bringout to again, saving the, not using the Melius. He's trying to conserve as many resources as possible. Uh, unfortunately, because of this, he doesn't have the Hyper Negate. Uh, but that's that just comes to the territory that's unfortunate. But he's trying to say, conserve resources and be a bit more conservative because he, I think he knows quite well here that because he has tactics and multiple plant cards in hand, he'll be able to win in a grind game if I'm able to out this board, if I can't full combo. Um, but he's he is assuming there that I can't full combo, so let's well, see what I do. So I start with Norton and Loki here. Um, Tom takes a bit to think about this, but he ends up letting this resolve, and this was going to Dryas. Dryas gets a little bit scary because he um, unfortunately has ended on defense position Strenna, which personally I would never do in a mirror match. Um, you always want to end on things in like attack position so they can't crash the Dryas and get a free healer even if they have sewing engrave. So sewing Dryas is resolving to grab sewing. Uh, this this is pretty expected, I guess. Because Dryas isn't once per turn. And if you negate it, I can just summon another one. So here, Tom uses, I think it's a bit more interesting, Tom uses the regulars here uh, to negate the sewing. So this means that I won't be able to use another sewing, like, even if I'm able to get to another dry ass. Uh, it's the same as ashing it, because it's, it raises against the effect. Um, for me, this is amazing news, because it means that I can freely evenly match him. Uh, unfortunately, he has sent the regulars to the graveyard. This means if he has access to the Boria next turn, he can just target the regulars and his battle will was reborn. This is the, again, this is the correct play. So I'm thinking here because I have a glamour in hand, and I'm thinking, do I tribute it, which I do, uh, or do I just go battle phase and just crash the Dryas and try and bait something again? But no, I end up just going for um, the glamour tribute to get two adds. Uh, I think I'm just like. For me, I tend to spend a minute thinking, and then I'll do all my plays in like quicker succession, compared to some players who will go go 20 seconds, 20 seconds every play. Um, yeah, I th it ends up taking much less time, and but that's just how I play personally. So you can see I'm going for double add. I'm really unsure on what's double add here though, because as soon as he let this resolve, which although granted he probably didn't have anything in the gates, uh, I was thinking, okay, as soon as the reckless is gone, I'm going to be evening this board. And I have tactics, so I'm going to be, he's going to keep the Strenna, because he, he wants to tribute it with Princess, to, for one negate, and then summon a Teardrop, which is the second negate. So he desperately doesn't want me to have, like, sorry, I desperately want him to keep the Strenna. Even if he comes down here, yeah. So I'm think, I was thinking, I could have the two level fours, but I would rather have the Lily as an extender so I don't have to tribute his Strenna and then trigger his Strenna, which then gets into Teardrop and Princess Engrave life. So he moves trolls as expected, and honestly, as is correct, he keeps his Strenna. And I will go to main phase two. And I take triple tactics to take the Strenna. Uh, Tom's kind of a uh, side here. Uh, but I've got, I don't really have any good targets in Grave, unfortunately, uh, for the Strenna. So I have Loki, which is obviously a decent target, but unfortunately, it's not 
super good. Because he's he did, as he did correctly, negate my sewing. Uh, which means I can't use it again. So I'm having to use other combo routes here. So I use Lily Boria. Equipping the Dryas. Using that. Then to get Discolosseum. And then I'm going to get the regular from the Discolosseum. Um, I'm waiting here because he... He is on, so Tom Rose here is on a 44 card list, compared to my 45. Uh, he admitted this is because he was just missing a sleeve for the call by. <laughs> but this is essentially, it is pretty much an identical deck mirror match here. So he doesn't have the draw, so I use the discard same search Regulus. So what's going on in my head here is I'm going to making Jasmine here. Um, I'm using the Vex Tribute just to gain some more resources. But unfortunately, um, I don't want to be tributing the Lily Boria and then summoning two with a Snowdrop, because as soon as I use a Snowdrop to summon two, um, I'm not going to be able to summon the Regulus anyway. So I kind of realised there's no way that I can actually end on Regulus here, realistically. So I'm just going to summon the, I'm going to summon the Regulus and then tribute it off for the Jasmine. Because, yeah, unfortunately it's just not realistic for me to be able to end on the Regulus, because I'm just going Regulus Pass. And then I have to use one of those instantly for the petal. And I know he has multiple follow-up cards in hand because he went for a conservative combo. I think unfortunately this is just one of those very special situations because I'm very much thinking I could tribute I could tribute the Liboria, summon the Dryas, summon the Snowdrop, and then lock out of the Regulus, unfortunately. And then I can go for Dryas, get a stone for next turn, make a Jasmine, summon Mudan, go for Kong Kong. But ultimately, I'd end on less than just tributing off the Regulus. So yeah, I go for the Regulus here. Equipping Lily Boria. And I know at this point he'll have no hand traps, because I know the build. It's a mirror match. So I go off, I tribute it, and I believe I summon out a Petal here. Which I do, yep. Yeah. <laughs> And such, I should be searching out a Mudan. So then, you, yeah, using Snowdrop to read the battle, summon itself, and summoning out the Loki. Yep, yeah, so making Snowdrop, make Snowdrop using its effect to make it level 1. This lets me go for a healer and get another search, which we, this will allow me to go for both Loki. So I've got the Loki into healer. Get 300, get search. This allows me to end on Kong Kong with both Sheet and Princess. So I'm going to get multiple tributes, at, uh, tributes and searches. And then Bank Lancer, of course. Yep. Yeah. So using the Rude here. Using the effect, grabbing my Kong Kong. So the Kong Kong here in the mirror match, if he doesn't... The card that I'm afraid of in this mirror match right now is my opponent having evenly matched. Um, because I know it's in main. But if there isn't evenly matched, I also know that there's only two other cards in hand. And I, I again, hope that Strena Princess might be able to push through. So I'm linking off here, I'm linking three, something Melius. Oh, no, sorry, not Melius. <laughs> uh, so the logic, I'm swimming Dance of Homes in three here and hopefully hit a plan. So the logic behind this is I already have um, Kong Kong to set sheet. And if I can hit any plan, I can then make it, I can manipulate the level, overlay and just get so many more free resources. Because I already have the princess, the special summon, so even if this misses, I can Sash Summon Princess, Link going to Melius, Melius grab the Loki, make Beng Lancer, I'd and then I'd have the Sheet, the Princess, the Kong Kong, and Beng Lancer. So I thought, I can high roll, and if I hit level 4, I just get an extra equity as well. And I, luckily, I hit a monster here. And I hit the Liboria, so I can just overlay. I'm sorry, use the effect of Dance Phone, maybe with a Blake, because I have Snowbird Drive, overlay, and my, the Teardrop is now going to be able to tribute the end phase petal, which will leave Tom with um, very little here. Yeah, here's where the quality is dipping a bit. So the XYZ I have is Teardrop with two materials, 
Uh, my, I, my link monster is Benglancer, I've just set Sheep from deck, I have Concorn on field, and I have a Princess and a, a Sewing in Graveyard. Top is attempting to use Battle, I'm allowing the summon on Resolution, tripping off. This also just protects me from things like Activate Concorn, look at the thing. So Tom's drawn turn, I believe he's drawn a Lily Boria, which is actually a really strong draw. So he has Loki, Lily Boria, Primula, and a Triple Tactics. I believe it's Triple Tactics. Yep, yeah, that's Triple Tactics. So he activates Lily Boria. He's attempting, so he's attempting to target the regular sitter. So I'm quite happy to let this resolve. Because even though he has the negate, I have tribute cost. So I can kind of just let him start playing around a bit. And then I can just tribute cost with my sheet or my princess. And I don't even need to worry about the negate because it's tribute cost. So Tom kind of goes for his only real play line here, I believe. Obviously, kind of think of it, just make sure see if there's any other options. We were very calm, like this matchup generally, whenever I've played it before, goes very, very quickly. So, we just try, it's worth just like looking for every option because we weren't under too much time pressure. So, yeah, here Tom goes for the normal summon loci, and on summon of loci, I'll be using activating the sheet, tributing the negate so I don't have to worry about it, and it's time to take the loci. Now, seeing I have, as I haven't used a monster effect here, there's very little Tom can actually do. Because his tactics is live. <clears throat> isn't live. He's trying to summon the princess here, which I'm fine with. And he's going to attempt to make the... Yeah, make the dryas. So he's likely going to go for a crash here. Um to try and summon out Thrasher, or summon out anything, but because it's battle phase, I'm no longer scared of tactics, I'm going to tribute off the Dryas. And he scoops it up. Because his only wink on there was two tactics, and I believe draw potentially an evenly matched. Um, and Petal, or just a combination of Concon, Petal, like Petal, Concon plus Glamour. It's just that kind of thing. So, I think it's actually, this is now really interesting going to side. Although you can't see much on screen, um, going to side, I th there's quite a mind game going on. So, with us, with the plant list, as I've shown many times, same plant list, um, there's a lot of going second gods in this side deck. There's uh, triple, there's thrusts, there's Regeki, there's feather duster, there's dark rollers, potentially kaijus, there's a lot of scary cards in this list, and it's very much a mind game, so in, at YCS London, uh, the last round of Swiss, when we were both 10-1, I played against Alex Robertson, the other uh, plant player who was on X1, and we were both on, again, both my identical list, and he made me start, and although that was kind of expected, like, so it was, it was very much a 50-50 dice roll there, because when you think when you're going second, I side out the Therion package with my siding plan. Making you start is sometimes in your match your board is still very strong and you'll still have cards some cards like Imperm, uh, Ashen and Murdroll to support the board. But siding out the Therions make you so much weaker to evenly. So going or like thrust to search evenly. So going second is a pretty viable strategy. So Tom later admitted after this match that he did decide out, um, he did decide to go second, which he made me go first, so that's corrected, and he was expecting me to have sided out my Therion package, and he was just going to go and try and outpower spell me, which is a completely valid route. However, unfortunately, I predict for him, I predicted this, <laughs> and I sided in, I kept my Therion package in, I sided out, I, sat, I kept in my evenlies as well, because I was very much on like the mindset of there's a these this card is such a blowout that I'm what it's I'm it's worth the risk keeping getting because it's such a blowout and I decided to go first aside from evenly just which is kind of a, like a backup option um 
so I cited it in my ashes and yeah just kind of hoped you see what happened so I kept in my draws kept in my imperms I kept in my therions I think I cited out one lily Boria. um but that was still a full package expecting to be to go first and then have some hand traps to support my full board uh here Tom just made me start and I open imperm ash and full combo so even for having and especially since I saw this interaction in game one where I got outed by I well I won by outing me evenly. Um I it's just kind of Yeah. <laughs> I played a little bit more cautiously here just because of that interaction. So here I stop with Special Swimming Princess, uh Glamour effect, choosing, adding two. So I add the petal and the loci here. Unfortunately this that line is vulnerable to ash, but I didn't really have any other options at that point. Uh, Tom doesn't ash it and doesn't reveal, reveal draw and resolution. If he had draw, he would have used it because he knows that my list doesn't play gamma. Or the list, unless any updates happened, shouldn't be a gamma there. So here's sewing resolves, something twin. Yeah, quality's gone down here a bit, unfortunately, but it's fine. Connection was a bit patchy, but it's still a nice venue. Uh, yep, so this is like kind of your standard plant line. Yep, going for Jasmine. So I've here the, the interesting thing here is I've already used my Glamour and I've already used my Princess Special Summon for the turn. And I've used my normal summon. So it's a little bit more awkward to combo when you've lost some of these like little essential requirements to make the full board. But I'm able to just do my thing anyway, unfortunately. So I'm summoning the Boria, grabbing Disc Colosseum. Yep, yeah, it's a little lag, but I'm going to discuss him to add Regulus. Yep, yeah, now we're using Jasmine Effect, tributing off the healer, and then summoning Lone Fire from deck. At least that's what I hope happens. <laughs> yep, yeah, time to summon Lone Fire from deck. See Tom's kind of like hand shuffling here, just he's patiently waiting because I we're both very very aware that this map this is going to be very power card based. This my end board, I'm going to have the Hyperaton, I'm going to have Spell Negate, and I'm going to have Regulus. So it's very much demand, dependent on can he bait my Regulus, and well, and my Hyperaton, if in case like th in case of thrust. Or, for example, has he seen Dark Ruler, and then has a strong enough hand to play through the Strena? Yeah, so I'm going Petal, search out the Snowdrop. So, I'm going for a bit of a different mentality to Tom in this, like, specific situation. Um, whereas he tried to save his Jasmine, in that, and just try and save some more resources, I'm very much going all out. Because I know he's made me start, and I know he has power power cards, and I also know that I have Imperm and Ash. So it's very much a case of, if he breaks this board, then he's going. To, the only way to the only way the threat. I know that for monster wise, if he has let's say Dark Ruler, I'm still gonna have Princess, Strena. Well, Strena's treated with someone so tips Princess, and Strena. I'm still going to have the Concon, I'm still going to have the Sheet, I'm still going to have the Imper, I'm still going to have the Ash. I still have oh, basically pretty much six interrupts through this. Um, so I know he's going to be using his entire hand to be able to break my board, and I'm not too worried. So I'm going for the Dance Phone again. I believe I miss here. Yep, draw spell, tr draw, and then spell a trap, which I believe is it evenly, and then a tactics. But even though I miss, it's still fine. I summon two. Use the effective mood out. 
and grab a compel. Actually, I believe the mill here may even sheet, and I use the effect of sheet. I'm about we'll to see what happens. <laughs> no, okay. So I held some in teardrop here. Oh no, hold some strena here. Sorry, strena add back to move down. Use strena again. Should we think? So I'm going. I'm prioritizing the spell negate here because that spell negate is pretty much essential. I already have the princess in graveyard, so I've already got the princess negate and says in deck. So I've actually saved a Strena here, which, in my opinion, in this grind game, I saved my I saved my one, my Strena, and two I've saved my Glamour double search for Primula and Princess. So this means that in the grind game, if I can get to Mudan, I can get to Strena. If I can get to Strena, since I haven't used Teardrop yet, I can get to um, add back. I can add back a Mudan, for example. Then I can use or you know, move down. I can add, whatever I haven't used, I can move down, I can add back Teardrop, uh, Snowdrop, I can use Snowdrop, treating the Strena, I can just go off from that one Strena, which to me is priority over the Jasmine. So I've passed here, uh, unfortunately my hand wasn't quite good enough when Bang Lancer as well, but honestly Bang Lancer is pretty terrible in the mirror match, and you'd rather have it with the grind game. Um, yeah, Bang Lancer is not important in the slightest in the mirror match. Because it can't bounce vanilla monsters, and it can't bounce monsters with zero attack. So it can't bounce Princess, it can't bounce Petal, it can't bounce Dryas, it can't bounce Lokai. It's uh, pretty sad. So I do the exact same thing here, and I allow the so I allow the Dryas to resolve. But because I know I have the Ash, I don't use the Regulus, in case he has a Vault Breaker. So I just Ash the Sewing. Mm -hmm. And this means he won't be able to use it again. So I think this is one of those where it's like, I'm going to very hard here. So one thing I did very, very specifically here is after that game one, I did not leave Strena on the board. Um, because tactics take Strena in a match is so valuable. Um, especially if you're adding back, let's say, a Mudan you haven't used because you summon Mudan off Snowdrop. You need to add back of your opponent's Strena, which you don't have to invest into. Um, or if you mill with Dancerphone, and then you get to add back. Okay, so Tom's opened the one Discord sim here, so he's using that as such. So this is giving him a free body. So at this point in time, I don't actually know um, that he's on my build, because Tom's quite well known for playing two Discord sim, uh, rather than one, and using that in the grind game. So I'm a little concerned here that he may have the second copy, like the second copy of Discord Sim, um, in deck for the grind game. But that, if I'm able to, if I'm able to hold him off this turn, which because it doesn't seem like he has evenly, then I'm under the impression that I should be fine. So he goes to the dance here. Um, so he's having to mill through the dance. This is a little bit worrying because. Dance is a bit of an RNG card, of course, but being able hitting a petal here, and then, or hitting two here, and then be able to get a free X Y Z, because there is an eight grave, being able to get the free X Y Z. So if you hit a petal plus a monster, then summoning them both, then using petal effect, and then finish making eights, is way too scary. So I just imperm it because this also stops level mod mo this stops me about level modula modulation. So I don't need to worry about him going off and just summoning a big teardrop. So here we can see that I've not I've only used the two non-engine interrupts here. Uh, so again, exact same as last game, I'm absolutely fine with the regular resolving. because uh, yeah, once the regular resolves, I can just shoot it as cost. I've not used any of my engine negates here. And if you attempt to go to battle phase, I just tribute regulus as cost in battle phase with sheep, take the dance, and I have everything for the remaining few cards in his hand. So he's a tactic here, he attempts to take here. Um obviously I have to negate this. Because if I don't negate this, then he'll end up taking something that can negate my cards. 
likely he will end up taking Irregulus, and then it just gets a lit or probably or a hyper or even a dance, and then using the dance to make a Bengal answer, and then the Bengal answer is protective because there's Surrey engrave. So it's not worth allowing this to resolve. I do use the Regulus here to negate. So the reason I use Regulus here is simply because Tactics is an activate once per turn, so not a use once per turn. So if I negate with Hyper and Detach to negate, it negates the activation and destroys, and if you had a second Tactics, he'd be able to use it to draw. Or to attempt to use it again. But now if you have second Tactics, it's Death Hand. And I play out of cards is expended, I'm not afraid to evenly anymore. So he summons Battle, and I immediately treat the negate with sheet, attempt to take the battle. The one thing Tom has right now is this Discolosseum. So this Discolosseum still has the effect, if, it, if a monster you control destroys a monster per battle, he'll be able to add back Ethereum from Grave to Hand. Which, would, if I, he, he was able to live the turn, would be huge in this grind game. So Tom is going to attempt to hit battle phase here, and attack and just crash the dancers. Uh, he's going to bash Sowing from Grave. I am also going to bash my Sowing from Grave so that the Discolosseum won't be able to resolve and add back any Ethereum monster from his hand. And that's where Tom scoops it up. So, yeah, it's quite unfortunate. It's, it's unfortunate it wasn't in game three because I think this match was definitely quite a high level showcase of how Plank Mirror can go. Unfortunately for Plants, the mirror is pretty polarizing, and it a lot of it can come down to this mind game of first and second, and sometimes there is just nothing you can do. Uh, but I think in general, there's quite a few opportunities for things like. For example, of how power cards with me be, be able to base out that regulus and use it evenly, and then be able to play from there. And the use of potentially, let's say, draw on the first turn. Uh, if when Tom was going because we saw he had tactics, uh, if I'd have drawled and he could have ripped a card out of my hand, uh, because I had now that I'm remembering, I had loci, glamour, glamour, sorry, rogue loci, glamour, tactics, tactics, evenly, with five of the cards. If he could have, for example, ripped ripped out my, um, I could, if I, let's say, had Droll, and he ripped out from that hand, ripped out my Loki, I would only have Glamour to play with. And through those tactics and, through those tactics and evenly, he's going to have enough negates to play what through what a singular Glamour. So yeah. I think that I thought that match was a pretty decent insight into just plants, and so big thanks to Tom for allowing me to use this footage. Uh, unfortunately, some unfortunately there's some connection issues, but honestly, I still think you get a good idea of a high level plant game, like high level plant match. Uh, also thanks to Incom the event this was held at it was a great regional, and yeah, um, everyone has a great day.